I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the studio of dreams at Tour Nation Productions, Mia Cardenas. Reporting from the studio of dreams located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Logan Martis, filling in for Mia Cardenas. Today is a goal day and all students will attend periods 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now, stay tuned for today's Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mandel. It's Time Rewind for March 9th. In 1959, the Mattel Toy Company introduces the Barbie doll at the American Toy Fair in New York. Price tag, three bucks. Despite controversy through the years over Barbie's body proportions, more than 800 million dolls have sold worldwide. The new Ford Mustang, brilliant new kind of car. The Ford Motor Company produces the first Mustang in 1964. 22,000 orders are placed that day, a full month before a single pony car even hits the showroom. I tell all the funny answers. Yeah, you want to be the funny man. I'm the comedian. Yes, go ahead, be funny. The entertainment world loses a treasure on this day in 1996. Actor, comedian George Burns, who started in Vaudeville and was known for his trademark cigar throughout a distinguished film and television career, dies at age 100. You see, I'm supposed to say the fellow with the largest... Burns is probably most remembered for The Burns and Allen Show, in which he co-starred with his wife, Gracie Allen. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Planning continues for the class of 2021's project graduation. Representatives will be in the cafeteria during all lunches on Thursday to answer questions and distribute raffle tickets. And the tour discount card, sponsored by Project Graduation, is now available for $5. Don't miss out. There are only a few left in order to take advantage of discounts that expire at the end of May. Mr. Dudas has them ready for purchase in room 2003. The library is open and here to serve you. Of course, there are currently some restrictions. The library staff is here to help. And you can even order books from home. For further information, go to the link below. Announcing the return of the official tour discount card with savings at numerous popular spots around the island. The discounts expire on February 28th of next year. The cost is $15 per card. See any Stuco member or Miss Schumann for additional details. Come out and cheer on our varsity boys soccer team as they battle Texas City tonight at 7.30 at Spore Field. The tours have quietly won six in a row, including delivering friends with their only district loss on Saturday. Let's support this great group of young men as they make a run for the playoffs. Congratulations to the Tornets for their huge success during their most recent competition. In the solos category, Tommy Woods was a JV solo winner and Treasure Valier was a third runner-up. The Tornets also brought home numerous officers and team awards. Congratulations! If you would like your club, sports, and other activities news and announcements featured on Good Morning Ball High, email your request to Mr. Dudas. Student parking is free this year. There are no reserved spots. Remember, the student parking lot is a lot across from the auditorium between Ball and the Scott Building. Attention all seniors, stay up to date on all important information and news by texting at BH2020GRAD28110. Sign up via the Remind app today. Now let's check in with the media team from the Burnett Stream Elementary program for the quote of the day. I'm Camilla and here is the quote of the day. There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Back to you. As always, stay safe and don't forget to practice proper social distancing. I'm Logan, wishing you a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs>